I was walking down the street. It was a wonderful day. I felt great. The rash on my neck had just cleared up, and I couldn't stop smiling. People were staring at me. I smiled back. I even waved at someone I didn't know. Hi! I just felt great. People probably thought I, I'd just come into some money or, or I just had really good sex with someone. Anyway, I was just walking along. Suddenly, a man, I'd never seen him before, he just came up to me and he kicked me. Ah! Ah! I fell over. Ah! Ah! Are you all right? Oh. You're bleeding. Oh. Just stay there and I'll, I'll get you a bandage. Ah. I looked around for the nearest chemist shop. Why did that man come up and kick him? Probably some sort of marital dispute. Or something to do with drugs. Still, you've got to try and help people. There can be more trouble than it's worth, though. I looked at my watch. God, my appointment with Mr. Vimicati. This is how it happens. I stop for a moment, and I get five minutes late for the rest of the day. I get tense, and then I get really sweaty. I'm sure to be wet through in a moment. Have you got any uh, uh, bandages? Yes, sir. Uh, what sort would you like? Oh, those will be fine. These ones? Sometimes I really regret buying this shop. I like being a chemist. I like doing the prescriptions, but uh, I've just never been very good with the customers. How much are they? $3.20, sir. I feel so uncomfortable chatting with people I don't even know. You get some weirdos in here, too. People who don't speak clearly. Hang on. I didn't give that man his change. See him in the distance, hurrying up the street. Ah, excuse me. Excuse, ah, excuse, excuse me. I began to wonder if I'd been rude to the man. Why had he left the shop in such a hurry? Maybe that's why the shop's doing so badly. I mean, if that man uh, tells all the people he knows that I was rude, and, and then they tell all, all their friends, well, it could have a huge effect. Excuse me. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a hurry, are you? <laughs> On our way back to the office, this man bumped into us. <laughs> he dropped some money. We helped him pick it up. It wasn't much. Just a couple of dollars. Yeah. Probably his lunch money. <laughs> well, I wouldn't buy much of that restaurant we were just in. <clears throat> I might get a bread roll for that. <laughs> Still, it wasn't a bad lunch, was it? We don't do too badly. We don't do too badly. Hang on. Where's my parcel? You must have left it back there. Oh, no. Oh, well, <clears throat> you think it'll still be there? I doubt it. I didn't think so either, but I didn't say anything. Neither of us said anything. <laughs> no sign of it. <laughs> I found this parcel on the footpath. Wonder whose it is. I suppose I should. Uh... <laughs> Been ages since I slept with someone. All these women around. Can't stop looking at them. It's all a bit much, really. I can't breathe. <laughs> Why is that man smiling at me? He's coming towards me. Maybe he's gay. Thinks I am too. He's waving at me. Maybe he knows me. Did I go to school with him? Oh, I, I could begin to recognize him. Where? Oh, John! Hi! Hi! Hi. Oh, sorry, you're not John. No. Sorry, why did you say hi? Just being friendly. Oh, yeah. Well, look, just watch it, okay? You've got to be so careful. You've got to be on your guard the whole time. The other day, for instance, I was just leaving the supermarket. Um, a man was walking in front of me carrying several large bags of groceries. Suddenly, a tin fell from one of the bags. Oh. Anchovies. Hey! Those are my anchovies! I know they're your anchovies. I was just about to give them to you. Thanks.
Hey, get off my car! What do you think you're doing, you'll scratch the power! <laughs> I don't believe it. G'day. Look at you. Oh. God, it must be years. Yeah, it must be years. <laughs> You've been doing some shopping. Oh, yeah, a bit of, a bit of shopping. <laughs> How have you been? Good, good. How have you been? I'm good, yeah. good. Look yeah. at all this stuff. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know. I don't believe it. Well, look at you. Hey, right? look if you've got time for a beer. Why not? Family and naval. <laughs> I don't believe it. Really? Wow. Must be. Must be. It's <laughs> 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 Some guy just hit me on, on the arm with his umbrella or something. I think it was deliberate. <laughs> oh well, and I suppose you've got to expect this sort of thing. See, uh, I'm putting a lot of these people out of work. My company's pulling down this whole block soon. You can't really blame people for lashing out, I suppose. <laughs> We're going to be putting up some pretty ugly buildings. Cheaply made. The whole thing's just a speculation. That's all it is. <laughs> right along here. <laughs> What a bizarre oh, act! Yeah, amazing! Unusual! What a day we're having! We'd only come the night before, and we were staying in the hotel in... Um, what was the name of that street? Queen Street. Queen Street, yeah. And everywhere we went, we were struck by the number of things to see and do. And the friendliness of the people. Everyone was smiling. We felt so at home! Even when we realized that we were lost. We're lost. Are we? We're lost. Have you got the map? Yeah, it's in here somewhere. Uh, why don't we just ask somebody the way? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you know... Do, do, you, do you know the way? Bloody crackpot religious fanatics. They really think they can change things with their little pieces of paper. They really think they can solve everything with a, a few crummy quotations and a, and a diagram. It's all right, everybody! You? Uh, are you lost? Piss off! I've lived here all my life! You, you, you try to help people. You're bleeding. Just, just stay there and I'll get you a bandage. Huh? 